One time for the queen And you already know Make some noise for your boy It's cut different, baby. Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs>
studio where uh, ideas for, you know, uh, podcast. You know what I'm saying? What we got going on, cooking and shit. So outside of that, man, that's that's, that's about it, man. Just trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together and see how that picture turn out. What's up with you? Ah, shit, you know, taking this shit one day at a time. Had to let that job go where I was traveling the world. Deuces! They thought they thought they thought they could pay me in experiences, and that ain't how this shit worked, boy. When that money got funny, say that. What? <laughs> say that. <laughs> Had to, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, Your Euro step around that. So, you know, yeah, just man. right back to it, like like I'm supposed to, making shit happen, regardless of the situation. Regardless. That part. Um, King shit. But, you know, there's always a blessing in shit like this. Like, I realize there's no way with all the shit that we got planned coming up, I would have been able to continue to do that job anyway. Respect. I got to show this waiting, just waiting to take off you know what i mean and i could never be able to do that uh everybody eats coming soon i i would never be able to do that show stay tuned if i'm gone all the time because we gonna pie once a week for shit show like and i can't de- if i only got two days off i can't dedicate both my days to the ne- i got a family too you know what i mean so hey i get that so yeah for sure so right back to it what about you brother uh you know same old shit Man, I done picked up a whole new addiction, boy. This shit is <laughs> whooping my ass. <laughs> crumble make you humble. What's the addiction, bro? You crumble, see. man. Crumble. What the fuck is that? You about to, you about you to see, see what's going on. Oh. I'm talking about oh, food. <laughs> yeah, you know, sure. Yep, yep. We talking about cookies. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to give you some. <laughs> nah, but uh. <laughs> You know, man, just <laughs> getting through this shit, man. Like my nigga that always sit here in this seat, man. You got to get through it to get to it, man. Yeah, respectfully you know, like, so, like man. Bro, I always say so. Shout out to the nigga Diarco, man. Hey, shout, shout out to bro, bro man. He you know took, he decided to use one of his sick days. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll allow it this time. You know. I shout out to Brandy, too, man. She been on sick leave, too, man. Yeah. Man. Yeah, shout, shout out, out to, to the Brandy. queen, man. You know it for sure. But, uh, you know, just... Stand in my lane. I quit my little jobby job too. <laughs> this is the, ain't nothing like ain't nothing like that tax season to make you say fuck you, right? Fuck you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, let's start there. Nah, but you know, it's just like like you said, I got a family and shit, and that shit wasn't feasible for what was going on. For what, for for what we got going on, and you know what I'm saying, like that shit wasn't that shit wasn't it, and when it ain't it, you, y'all know I'm quick to oh, yeah. move the fuck around, pivot, feel me, you know. So Wait. Back to the figuring it out stage, which you know I always, you know, you gonna make shit happen regardless, you know, you know, feel me. It is what it is, you know. We working on hella shows, feel me, grinding. Stand down to come up. For sure. I got something to ask y'all after this. Chuck, what you been up to? And please start off with, I'm still employed. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> What'd you say? I got my work uniform on. Yeah, right? man. Talk your shit. But uh, I just watched the Super Bowl. Uh, got to cook some more food. And just been working. Oh, doing yeah. pod. Waking up every, or, well, I say waking up, but coming home from work every day and Posting some videos and then going to sleep. You know how to cook. Oh yeah. I know. Hey Chuck, get down. Oh yeah. Hey, it's funny because I, I asked ain't gonna Chuck. lie. I thought you just boiled an egg. Huh? <laughs> 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 He's stupid. I but I asked Chuck the other day. I'm like, "What you got going on?" He's like, "You know, I'm making something for my daughter's little um, super Bowl. little 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 gathering or whatever." And I'm like, "I'm like, what you make?" He's like, "Come on, man. You know what I made." <laughs> If I make, you know what I made. I'm like, oh yeah, you made well, that I buffalo I, dip. I said I was making dip. Remember? Oh yeah, that's said, what, what he said. What kind of dip? I and said, he, yeah, Look, he was, if I don't tell you, yeah. you know what it is. Yeah, for sure. He said, if I ain't told you no special name, just know it's the signature dip. Yes, sir. Uh, which, all right. What I wanted to ask y'all was, what did y'all think about um, the first little pilot CDN live thing we did? Super Bowl shit. Oh shit! I ain't gonna lie. That doing that. Got me real excited for what we got coming. Yeah, cause it's easy. It's make it real easy to do it. Yeah, for you know, it's 
you can join in from different places and mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. It makes we it don't always accessible for all of us. Facts. We don't gotta be together. That's how I know it would have worked. What was we trying to shoot when we was was it a was it the Christmas special? We was trying to shoot from different locations. Oh, that's for New Year's. New Year's, that's what it was, because I was out of town. You was? I'm yeah, that's when I was in Virginia. And I was in... Oh, you was on a cruise. I was on a cruise. <laughs> I would have been fired. <laughs> doing some players. Hey, that would have been fired to get me on the cruise. Talking about, yo. Yeah, that would have been fired. You got to see that episode at the end. It's this video of him. But shit, all right, man. You already know. Let's let's address the, um, the elephant in the room. We might as well get straight to it so we can get through it for sure. This is a perfect example of get to it so we can get through it. Yeah. Let's talk about this Super Bowl. Yeah. How many points was I off by? A lot. A lot. Man, y'all are some haters. <laughs> I think Hold you on, got about your, halfway what was there. Your, what was your prediction? T- tell him my prediction. This nigga said some crazy shit. 84 bro. to nothing. <laughs> I said, come on, give me something. Hold on, hold on. Who who, who was going to put up 84? Chiefs. We all picked the Chiefs. I was, was kind of right. I'm a, um, He's only 60 points off. I, um, <laughs> <laughs> I had... I play I play DraftKings. So I I took the over, which was 47 and a half. I went under. So I took the over, 47 and a half, and then I at the last minute I took the Chiefs with because at first they was San Fran was giving the Chiefs three and a half points. Mm-hmm. Then yesterday they was giving them one, one and, and a half, half points. Thanks. I I'm like, man, line. something ain't right. I'm like, let me take these motherfucking Chiefs, man. I took you the remember? Chiefs on the money. I put hundred dollars on them niggas. You remember? But, but, but the, took the over. But the, the over, yeah, the over, the over killed me because of that half a point. So if he would have took the under, then what? He would have been hit, good. Be I, I could have borrowed good. some money for sure. Damn. Y'all could have. So <laughs> with. The- <laughs> Pardon my brothers. Uh, so. Um, I think with the I think the Chiefs are going to be today's era of the Patriots. The Patriots, yeah. Because for Patrick Mahomes to be the quarterback that he is, and for real, for real, he is the face of the NFL. Man, dude. there is no other quarterback that is. I like watch, when you talk about quarterbacks, you talk about. I've seen this young nigga do it with three different teams. On that team, if that makes sense, you get it. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Three this nigga got three different team. rings with three versions of the of, a, of a chief of a chief team. It don't matter who so, on this team, he going to get that motherfucker, bro. But this is the whole thing, though. I feel like they're paving the way to make that happen because if you in 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 in, in, in sports, it, yeah, exactly. And in, in sports, NFL has had a dynasty team every decade. NBA. Has had a dynasty team every decade. If it wasn't the uh, the Celtics, it was the Lakers. If it wasn't the Lakers, it was the, the Bulls. Bulls. If it wasn't the Bulls, it was the Warriors. It's the Warriors or the, the Heat. Heat. You know I say, don't act like, like y'all remember when or San Antonio. You know, I mean? you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's, it's yeah, always San Antonio go, for, for sure. It's always gonna be a, a, a dominant run, team, a dominant team in mm-hmm. the sport. Yeah, and right now, as of right now, because of Tom Brady's exit, him leaving. Patriots going to Timber Bay, retiring, whatever. When but when Mahomes got drafted, he was the next thing smoking. Yeah, fact. He was the next best thing smoking. And he has now been to in the last four years. This is his fourth appearance mm-hmm. at, at the Super Bowl. So now he is three and one. And I ain't gonna lie to you. In that, the Super Bowl. That script. And that script that they be writing. That script made it's damn near made, like I'm the man behind the pen, ain't it? Throw that game, that Super Bowl game against Tom Brady that year, bro. He'll I can have, believe that. He'll have another one. So you think they told him like, man, go, hey, go sit this one. Well, out. they ain't no. He didn't go. He didn't see. Bra- he, he didn't Tom see Brady. Brady. He didn't see Brady in the uh, Super Bowl. They yeah, went. That was the, that was the AFC. Your uh, microphone right there, the, Chuck. The, what you right. doing? That was the AFC. You look like you want to no. say. That was Tom <laughs> Brady went to the Buccaneers. I don't know what to say, Oh yeah, Buccaneers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He beat the Chiefs in the Super Bowl against the Buccaneers when he was on the Buccaneers. That's how Brady. And that shit just look if you. That shit just looked like Mahomes. You could tell it through that, that game. You could tell it. <clears throat> so what was the score? Man, they, last they, night, they, they, mm-hmm. uh, um, something to nineteen. Twenty-five went, to twenty-two. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, because they went to overtime. 
All right, so nineteen. Give me your your feedback about you know what I mean the game in general. What you thought? It was one of the best games I've watched all season. That part. It was the best refed game of the entire season. Mm-hmm. And I don't think the NFL is scripted. Sorry, I'll bleep that out. I do for what? Why you don't believe it's scripted? No, the the f word is oh, bleep out okay. because we pass. I, I, I just think it's it's too too much to the script. I was having this argument with my dude earlier. There's not enough money on the planet to keep all them. Pl- them yeah, I'm saying riding. yeah to be at a certain spot oh, like many like synchronized done? football. Like, Man, hey, no, hear me out. Mean? Hear me out. How many dudes have gone off and killed themselves because of football and stuff? You're not. You're going to tell me one of them's not going to say something right before they kill themselves. You're going to you're going to tell me that all these guys that get just hey, you messed up on your way home from the meeting the other night and got a DUI, so you're off the team. You don't think he's going to hop online and say, hey, man, guess what's going on? Nope. Oh, this We've shit never is had that happen. Nope, because Anytime probably, it does, it's probably it's in the a contract. It's probably already got an NBA like, in the yeah, contract. We're, we're fixing this. Ha, 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 ha. But you got to think. I've is seen, it, you got to think, though. If you don't think there's a script, how do you think Vegas is even predict, predicting and doing all these? Like, everything Statistics is, and probability. Oh, no, sir. Come Hell on. no. Some, somebody you, somebody they're, too naive they're, they're, to, they're, they're following some, the money. There is somebody who is going to orchestrate so and make that's certain why, things go a certain But that's way. why lines sure. move, because if, if 80% of the money comes in on, on the Chiefs, like they're going to move flat. the points to match that. Because if if the if 50% – say say you got 100,000 people that vote on the Chiefs, right, or, or go for the Chiefs on a bet, and half of them got it at 3.5 and, and the other half got it at 1.5. Mm-hmm. Only the only half of them are even going to win that bet. The other half is where they're going to make their money back from that half winning it. That's why they move the lines. That's just that's my opinion, obviously. Mm-hmm. But With I think the the way here, I'll, my last thing: the if if I can hold a football up in the air at, at eye level, standing up and drop it three times in a row, and you tell me the correct way that ball is going to bounce every single time, I'll listen to anything you have to say. Respectfully so. Because you can't, you can't fix that. a game with right. a played with a ball that's an oval, a circle, a sphere, a cylinder. Well, There's the no. Re- the reason why I argue, you know what I mean? I also not argue, f- is because me being a sports, y'all I niggas like me, me being a sports. Hold on, talk, listen. Nigga. This no, this is what I'm gonna say because I don't want us to get so stuck on this whole scripted and not scripted thing that we lose point of the conversation. Is just giving me your overall experience of the football okay. game because so, there's other aspects of it that I would like to get to so we don't want to get caught up in this part per se for too long you feel me so go ahead say whatever you got to say because but I was just a lot of say, shit to talk I about. look at I look at the overall season right and Kansas City has not been like people who study the game and analyze and speak on the shit every day no Kansas City has not been who they have been who they once were Three, four, five years ago. Because they gave their quarterback half a billion dollars. Half a billion dollars. They did do that. But my thing with so with that being said, right, who in all honesty would have been the bet the number one team in the NFL this year? The Ravens. The there Ravens is no were. way that the Kansas City Chiefs, the way they have played all season, should have beat the Baltimore Ravens. Can, be, can I rebuttal that exact point real quick? The Chiefs have been the five out of the last six Super Bowls, and the Ravens have lost the first game or second game in the playoffs for like four or five years in a row. That's those, happened every single year. So that is actually literally to be expected. Those is those is facts. But again, with Baltimore being who they have been this season. And they were – this isn't his first MVP season either. So I'm not saying that. He's gone out in the playoffs after, hey, the Ravens are going to win the Super Bowl. Those is, those is facts. Mm-hmm. But I just don't think Kansas City – I just don't think Kansas City's football play of way of football this season was good enough to beat Baltimore at home. I think Project. I think the way they got their defense together saying, though, because all you got to do is contain Lamar when you play Baltimore, and it's over with. Well, no, yeah. but we we can come back to this. We can yeah. come back. Let's go back sure. to the Super Bowl. You got anything you want to insert before we? Yeah, because you talking about we ain't letting you talk, man. Man, it was clear to me all season. That Mahomes is going back to do it. I've seen what Lamar was doing all year long. I've seen what uh, Cleveland was doing. I've seen I've seen what everybody was doing, and it was just clear to me that 
Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, and Taylor Swift <laughs> is winning this motherfucking ring this year. This is Kansas, Kansas City Swifts, man. Kansas City that. Swifts <laughs> is winning this ring, Kansas and it's City. all about the money. So right now we know who got the hottest shit going on. We know Travis Kelsey with Taylor Swift. We know Patrick Mahomes going for number three. We know that nobody else winning the Super Bowl this year is going to be a bigger story than this as far as money-wise. For sure. That's just how I feel that this shit is really scripted because I've seen this shit coming a mile away. I mean, but it, it, again, and also again, based off of how, again, how they've been playing all season, just to me, like, you went into Buffalo. They went on two road trips, bro. Mm-hmm. And beat two teams at home that are, beast, that are beasts at home. Buffalo Bills, home. you went to Buffalo, you beat Buffalo. He played. You go into Baltimore and you beat Baltimore. His first road game, his road playoff game ever mm-hmm. this season. That's cra- That's the craziest part about all of The it. first time going into playoffs on the road this season, and the nigga did it twice, bro. Twice. That's what I'm saying, bro. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying, bro. Hey, them, they're one of the greatest Super Bowls I ever watched. From the that first half was slow though. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's like, what make it. That's what made it great to me. I was like, man, that's what made it great bro. to me because it was real defense going on on both mm-hmm. sides, and then it came down to the very, very end to the point they had to extend that shit. Whoever wrote that motherfucker did a good job. To, <laughs> hey, whoever wrote that Super hey, Bowl. In all reality, same person that be writing to... all them hot songs for you. If you, yeah. all right, round of applause. We for... should be rich then. Hey, the the, the NFL I ain't season done seems scripted because AWS AI makes the schedule and it does such a good job at it. It seems scripted, yeah. just like the NFL marketing team markets the hell out of everything they do so much that it looks scripted. At least that's how I feel about it. I mean, we it's all opinionated. Mm-hmm. None of exactly. us really have the facts. We'll come back to right, this. So listen, everybody talk sports. Yeah, that part. <laughs> Plug your shit. Want me to tell y'all what I think about it? Go ahead. I don't. Yeah. All right, you know, <laughs> uh, one time uh, I would like to give a round of applause to our sponsor, Kiara Wine. One time for Kiara Wine. Let's get to that halftime show. <laughs> we. <laughs> Let's get to this halftime show, man. You see my nigga Usher. Uh, Hold on, wait. <coughs> Did you enjoy the halftime show? Um, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I be feeling like the performances be a little cheesy. Okay. Is, is that like is that is that? Did you enjoy the halftime show? I ain't gonna lie. I didn't see it. I seen clips of it, but I wasn't watching it. I was trying to go hit a play or something. But. Uh, <laughs> I missed halftime, but from what I did see, it was fucking hilarious. Why was Jermaine? Hold on, wait, man. Hold on, Uh, wait, man. Calm down. (laughs) Everybody relax. Everybody relax. You see, I shut the fuck up, right? Did you like the halftime show? You check it out? Oh, yeah. I liked it. It was very nostalgic, and it's to the point where that's pretty much all we're going to get from it. It's not like they're going to turn us on to somebody we've never heard of at the Super Bowl. Yeah, for sure. So it was a nice little throwback to some music I listened to in high school. You know what I did notice today when I was driving? Anytime um, I had somebody in the car and I was talking, I was talking in my headset so so I wouldn't ride in silence. I cut the radio on for them. Mm Mm-hmm. All I heard today on the fucking radio yeah, same is song. Usher Raymond, man. <laughs> One thing that I noticed about the Super Bowl and the halftime show, your streams and your plays go through the fucking roof the next day. Those are facts. So even though they don't get paid to actually perform at the Super Bowl, they getting some money on that back end because... Usher was spending the day. Hold on. You sure they don't get paid? Yeah. Not, they, not, they, they actually... Per, they pay for themselves to for they the got to pay for they hold like the you remember oh. whenever um what's the nigga's name rock this way you remember all them people was performing in sync and yeah. all them people whoever was the headliner for that they had to pay for all of that all the shit then the pyro crazy. and all that you would have thought the NFL would be paying them to come and do the halftime Michael well, Jackson got it's paid. more of an honor yeah it's the to, same thing as with the commercial they know what they're working with just like they're not gonna pay you to perform at the Grammys 
Michael Jackson got paid. Yeah, I I think that's true though. I think Michael yeah, Jackson I, did get paid. I don't know. Look, it's, hey, you the guy. Hey, I'm just saying we not we not in the back with the facts. Into the rabbit hole. But, yeah, for sure. But I I'm pretty sure you're right. They had. I'm pretty sure Michael you're right. Jackson's foundation. And then I think, am I tripping or is that the same night they went and did We Are the World? I think so. Cause they because part of the negotiations they wanted him to uh. He, they wanted him to do some old shit, you know, like classic shit, yeah. like Billy Jean. Uh, uh, like, uh, that's nothing. I don't. That, uh, no, that's uh, nothing. Uh, All right. So, <laughs> he was, so on the on the surface, it says that in 1993 he requested one million dollars, and they said no. They yeah, they said no, but, but they in, gave him something in negotiations. Well, it says it. Well, then it says that he ended up performing for free. So yeah. I'll, I'll keep you updated. But they paid. They paid that. Because obviously that that's foundation. what it's going to say on the search. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. what it is. They paid the foundation they that he Michael wanted Jackson's them charity. to. Charity. Yeah. And you know. And you know what they, that means. <laughs> yeah. You know, they say a, per, a percentage of this goes to. Yeah. They, that, that percentage could be 5%. <laughs> yeah, that nigga go, go ahead and pocket that. <laughs> say that. Yeah. Shout out to Michael Jackson for finessing the system, man. <laughs> and that was when. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because what you about to say, what you about to say is important. I want them to catch all of it. You hear me? Go ahead. That was the uh, the halftime show where the nigga popped up all the way over there, and then the nigga popped up all the way over there on that scoreboard. The nigga popped up in the middle. Hey, word around. How much town, you think that, that was really him? How much you think it cost to put on that show back then? Cause think about how easy it would be to do probably that now. A few hundred thousand. With holographics and all that shit. Yeah, that would be probably, probably a few, few hundred thousand back then. It was probably about a. Uh, he probably M spent the budget on that motherfucker. Whole bunch of fake little Michael Jacksons. Ah, you feel? <laughs> no, no you him. ain't doing it right. You ain't doing it right. If my father saw you do that spin, he would be <laughs> upset. Yeah, <laughs> he'd be perturbed. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, Chuck. You ain't gonna find it. It's in a video. I watched it in a video. We, where I seen that. In 1993, the NFL also made an exception for Michael Jackson and agreed to donate $100,000 to the singer's Heal the World Foundation. Hey, and what was $100,000 back then? This one, yeah, for sure. Oh, man. Hey, don't go calling 1993 back then. Hey, man, it is what it is, bro. It's back then, we are... I just had a birthday, man. <laughs> yeah, I was born in 91. Let's start there. It was a boot go gang. Yeah, 32 years ago. Our kids be like... Y'all from the 1900s? Like, hey, bro, don't say it like that, bro. Don't say it like that. Don't, don't, say it like that. Nigga, that <laughs> make a nigga sound old. Don't say it like that, bro. Because whenever you ready, I'm ready. If you want to go, we can go. Say it like I'm him. Like crazy. That sound crazy. It do sound crazy. Like I'm from when Django was running around on a horse. King Arthur and all that. Yeah, like we from the 20th century. <laughs> And I, I was wrong about production costs. They they put that on the sponsors. So whoever sponsors the halftime show pays for the performance. Okay. My bad. But either way, the artist ain't getting prepaid, ain't getting prepaid, ain't getting paid to get up there to perform. No. Nope. Right. Um what was uh what was my boy yelling at the coach about? They there was oh, a play Kelsey. where they he, he got taken out. out of the game and uh somebody missed a block and the guy caused a fumble and they lost the ball. Okay, let so me know. I'm trying to thought. I'm sorry, we're talking about the halftime show. Yeah. But well, go uh, ahead, finish that because I just seen this no, picture of him. him. He he was out on a play where they fumbled the ball and he didn't want to be out. So he went ran up to him and said, Don't take me out or, or whatever, something like that. No, yeah. Yeah. The bump into him was what got me. He <laughs> called that nigga a mother he called that nigga he called Andy Reid a motherfucker. Oh, okay. yeah. I read, I read, le he I read lips. The he was like, bro, that's well. allowed. That's like saying, bro. That's some old racist ass shit. <laughs> All right, so look, like hold saying, on. listen, y'all, let's not lose track. So let's get to Usher. How'd y'all feel about Usher's uh, performance? Man, tell me, then. You ain't see it. I ain't really I'm see so, it neither. I ain't, I ain't, uh, well, uh, that makes all three of us. But what I did see, ironically, today, aha. Aha. Um, <laughs> a motherfucker had on Facebook. It was 
it was uh, Swiss Beats on one side, and the other side it was motherfucking Alicia and goddamn it, Usher is behind her though. You know, what like cuffing her <laughs> on the damn near stand up spoon side. Yeah, talking about you know, talking about the performance was good. And, and, and I'm a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna bring up his actual tweet. Yes, yeah, so I guess Swiss was saying how you know what I'm saying the, the performance was live. It was good. You know Usher's ass been it tweaking no, lately. He didn't have no. Both, he didn't have no insecurities about it. Based off of how he wrote and how what was said, he didn't have no insecurities about it. That's what he better say. I mean, yeah, because you don't want the public perception to be you that don't. you that you because we see what he did with Kiki Ooh. and Vegas. But my nigga, he's been doing everybody like that hey. in front of they dude. They he did hit the Joe button in front of his girl, and I like he just pulled up and serenade your bitch, and don't care if you there or not, like, bro. And the somebody craziest gonna thing, on him. somebody gonna hurt him. But my crazy, my thing is this though: like this nigga's dead guy. I ain't gonna lie to you. Listen, <laughs> Jamaica would have got up and I would have tripped her as soon as she would have walked towards the stage. <laughs> I'm about to embarrass the fuck you. And you know how I told you I trip people. I uh, uh, hit you with a double, double clip. Yeah, you hitting the dirt. <laughs> Remember this? Now get your ass up and sit the fuck down. <laughs> you got herpes though, bro. This uh, nigga hey. is clowning. Hey, he might not have a flare up. Listen though, this <laughs> is what, he ain't stressing. Yeah, but this, this is what Swiss Beat said. He says, "Y'all talking about the wrong damn thing. Y'all don't see that amazing dress covering the entire stadium. Tonight's performance was nothing but amazing with two amazing giants. Congrats to Usher and my love, Alicia Keys. <laughs> that song." Is a classic. It's a classic. For sure. We yeah. don't do negative vibes on this side. Mm -hmm. We make history. For sure. Yeah. Go see Giants at Brooklyn Museum. It's open until July. <laughs> Bless <laughs> us. Plug real quick. Yeah, let me put that. He in. better had said nothing other than that. Because he's light-skinned for one. Yeah. And you know if he would have answered any other way other than that. You know what they say, statistically speaking. Light skinned niggas light is bitches. Skin niggas is <laughs> <laughs> statistically speaking. Oh shit, man! But what what y'all think? What y'all think about the dress covering the entire stadium? I mean, they really wanted the stadium. It was what about that nigga's dick covering your girl's ass? Yeah, on that that part. That's what I'm worried about. That nigga. And these motherfuckers was real life spooning. Yeah, then on. Oh, they yeah. was like, "Did you see where they put the McDonald's headphones on him?" And it was like, "This is how a nigga be doing your girl oh, when they at work." <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite one, Bruh. <laughs> bro. Bruh. Hey, niggas, hey, whoever be coming up with this, it's be disrespectful as fuck. You motherfuckers it are the point. goats. It be on <laughs> Y'all are the goats for it that shit. Point. Usher ass out of pocket. For sure. Been out of pocket. The duet was really Herpy good, though. Ass, nigga. Yeah, yeah for sure. one of my favorite songs. Usher's one of my favorite Bro, I got goosebumps when I, I started hearing Usher it. I love that way. song. Usher, one of my that favorite. piano I was, was Usher better than the dress. was Usher for Halloween one year, nigga. You said that piano was better than what? You guys see the piano she was playing on? Nah. It yeah, I didn't like see It like the tail of the dress. It was like curved down, and it uh -huh. was like, uh, like ceramic or something like that. I don't know. Which I think the budget was on this. Do what? How big of a budget do you think he spent on this? Probably about half a million. Yeah, it, went, it wasn't go. really much Fuck more than that. Fuck he had. That. He had more so uh, appearances. Why? Jermaine well, he did have some. Free. The whole field was covered in performers at the beginning, like Vegas style performers. Yeah, they had the, the like showgirls and stuff like that out there dancing on the field. So I'm sure that they had to pay for them. Why did Jermaine Dupree come out dressed like a toddler? Oh, did you see that he posted the socks? Oh, yeah. The he, tried, he, he said, he said the brokies don't understand this type yeah, of living, baby. Like, like, Look somebody, at these people somebody my had socks. A, <laughs> somebody had a picture of a dude on Facebook, bro. It was so funny. And they said, why does nigga look like the black boss, baby? Yeah. I, oh, I yeah, seen that. Exactly Boy, they called him CeeLo Green. Bro. I was <laughs> weak as They fun. called him. Who else they called him? They called him a couple. I'm like, damn, why they whooping his ass like this, boy? That's crazy. He was taking Funny a good fuck. looking at it on uh, on social media. One thing I can say I didn't like about what I saw, mm -hmm. the little bit I have seen of his performance, mm -hmm. is that fucking blue and black little um the roller derby stuff. That shit looked horrible. 
Yeah, what the fuck was he thinking? And Ludacris and all of them had it on. They looked like fucking um, boy, boy, boy. like the t- if 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 Tubi tried to make a Tron movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ever seen Tron? Yeah, yeah. yeah if, if, Tron is nah, Tron. Tron. Nah, it's about the bikes, the, the, the colorful bikes, the, the big ass the trail. Oh, no, I motors- okay, I show it to you. But them niggas, they look like if they tried. They only had a ten thousand dollar budget to shoot the new Tron movie. Horrible. <laughs> um, but why we on? Um, we're gonna pivot from the Super Bowl. Why we on like R and B singers? Um, who's your favorite R and B singer? Like uh, of all time? No, not of all like, time. Okay. From like the two thousands, you know the. From Trey the, Songz era, Trey the Song. Mario era. Who's your Chris Brown? Damn, mine too. He's been my my favorite will, singer will, for a I'll, long time. Yeah, we done. I ain't gonna. Together. I kind of. I guess I would agree with y'all. Yeah. On that. Um. What about you, Chuck? Uh, John B. Huh. <laughs> he won the <laughs> Chuck don't listen to R&B. <laughs> he don't know who the fuck John B is, do you? <laughs> well, he's an R and B singer. He's a white R and B singer, but until you saw his music video, oh, you yeah, swerping yeah. down this motherfucker was black. Facts. John B is the, he's white. He's the original white chocolate. Before there was a Chuck, it was John B, baby. Facts. But um, do you listen to any R and B? Yeah, dude? that's what I was. I, I'd probably have, from that era. I'd probably have to say Usher. I guess, I guess, I uh, guess, yeah, Usher tr- really transitioned through oh, all the eras. You don't think so? Yeah. I, I mean, because he's still. All the era, like, 96. Dude, been out since 96. Bro. Yeah. You 95. That, though, 95. He did his music in that order, too. Yeah, he, he performed. Oh, he started from like, with older music and ended And took you down the time new stuff, but the newer stuff. Yeah, he just put an album out, too. So, but all right, listen, it says Chris Brown becomes the first artist this century to chart for 20 consecutive years in a row. Nigga. I can believe there is no dispute anymore. It shouldn't be anyway about when it comes to the the two thousand and up generation of R and B singer who is the king of R and B. It's them. Ain't no question. Dude put out like albums with like seventy five songs. Like he be dropping some crazy shit. And don't none of this shit sound the same. Dude, none of it be mid. Yeah, no, it'd be bangers every time. But every you know what? Bang. It's like it's just so much music to consume. It's hard. Just think about how much music he's sitting on for. Like if something was to happen to him, it would be a Chris. It's probably going to be a Chris Brown album for the next twenty years. Yep, that's crazy. Bro. Like nah, if he passed away, we're gonna space these albums out. We're gonna drop a Chris Brown album every year for the next twenty twenty five years. That's my that's nigga, a, but bro. that's a, he may he he may he may you. be the he may be the like Tupac of uh, R and B. When you say that, what do you mean? As far as on the right, because you like like he how they gangster, say, like how they hold on, let him. I, I ain't gonna even. Well, uh, that's another topic. Uh, um, the way how they would say, you know, what I'm saying Pac would uh, 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 accumulate his music. You know what I'm saying? He he be in a limo. Oh yeah, just record, yeah, just record mix that shit later. Go to the next song. Yeah, he he be in a limo, bro. By the time he didn't got picked up and went to the studio, he didn't made two songs in a, in 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 the back of the limo. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So when you got a person that is that that's that is that articulate and that creative and that ambition and has that much passion, you know what I'm saying, for what they doing. You know what I'm saying? It's easy for him to go ahead and just record, 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 record. record and I record, bet you record. that started whenever he went through that court case shit yeah. with Rihanna. Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, he quit doing media and everything. You know, you you during some time like that with everybody judging you and shit, the first thing you want to do is isolate yourself. Mm-hmm. And that nigga just sat in the studio and cranked out magic. On everything, and that's why, I'm, and, I, and, and and for real, that kind of go back to the shit that I be saying with us on our on our shit. You know what I'm saying? For real, this nigga be pressing me to do music <laughs> all the time. Bro. Consistent, thank you, sir. Consistency is the key, man. And when yeah. you sitting, when you sitting, when you sitting down, it might be old to you, but it's new to the world, man. When you put it out, man, they gonna gravitate to it, man. Yeah, why? that's what my uncle asked me. My uncle's like. If you get a deal right now for a hundred racks, what you gonna do? 
I said, what the fuck? Boy, I'm about to put out, redo all the old shit. Mm-hmm. I'm redoing all that shit on a whole different professional level. And, you know, you're going to keep it going. I, oh, and, and, sure. Off the record, I met Kroger's today. Me too. I see a nigga. Uh, this is what you about to say is about to correlate with what we talking about, right? Yes, sir. Okay, just making sure because you said off the record. I'm like, oh, he about to go off script. Nah, he about to. I ain't going, but I see a nigga. Keep though. it NFL. And keep he, it on script, and baby. I, I, and he like, uh, <laughs> he he like, damn, bro, what's going on? What's up? <laughs> Popping at me, and he was like, what's up with some of that new music? He like, no, the streets waiting, but if you wait too long, they get bored. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Like. When you got people that want to hear your shit and listen to your shit, like, put that shit out. You know what I'm saying? Record that shit. Do that shit. Me and my cousin three, March 1st. Keep the, keep the material going. Speaking of new albums. Speaking of new albums. We know that, you know, the great Andre 3000 just put out an album. No, he it pro- Hold on, calm down. It probably wasn't the album that we was looking for, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but he put out an album. And you know, is it an, an album? An, is it a, or is it an EP? Like who? Under two thousand? Yeah. You never heard about his album he dropped recently? Negative. Nah. It's a. It was a flute album. It had nothing but flute music on it. When I say flute music, I mean no vocals. Just, Just Andre three thousand playing a flute. flute. Yeah. Okay. So boom. Uh-huh. So as we look into, it, he he does it in like specific frequencies and stuff. It's actually pretty clever. Not that you'll enjoy. It's not what we're looking for, though. Yeah, Chuck, you got to know. For, I'm looking so for listen, Andre to talk that shit. To but me. I say that to say this. Now we have another legend that's about to come back out. Okay. And I'm going to read this caption to you. It says, Little John has announced he is releasing a guided meditation album. I heard that. I forget what platform I heard that on, but I did just hear that this the other day. But you out of all the people <laughs> that I never expected to put out a meditation album, is the king of crunk. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's like an oxymoron. Yeah, for but sure. At the same time, though, like, if you ever heard him talk, bro, sound like bro. He sound like, uh. Like, when he talked, he's like very, Dave like, Chappelle. educated and well Like, like Dave, Chappelle Dave Chappelle painted show, him. Like, yeah, he was, that's a real life. I could see him, like, I could see him guiding a meditation class. But it's just and crazy then, to think this nigga was probably meditating. And then left, went to the studio. And then got on the stage and was like, "Rap your motherfucker, oh, throw your dogs, oh, no. yeah, bust a motherfucker head, nigga, da, da. You feel me, okay. like, like, but this nigga is really centered in the motherfucker on stage. Yeah, clearly. What y'all think about that though? Like, where do you, what uh, do you think is like an angle to it? Like, it's always an angle. You feel like he falling behind? Like, I feel like he's trying to get paid. Okay, do you feel like the Andre 3000 album was the catalyst for this? No. Like you I do. I don't. I mean, it might lead to a lot more stuff mm-hmm. even. I feel like Andre 3000 made a motherfucker think to go completely fuck outside the box, outside the store. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean true, but you know Lil John, he been like different. Like for the sure. Nigga, the nigga put out a song with just a hook on it and a beat. But it was upbeat. It was still yeah. true to his what we his persona. You feel me? Just yeah. like when he switched over to EMD music, do, 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 do. even though it's a different sound, different different frequency, different crowd fan base, it's still that upbeat. It's not too off brand for him. Mm-hmm. So, but a complete meditation album that's like something complete. Just like we know Andre Three Thousand to be one of the goats of rapping. So when that nigga say he putting out a rap album or he's putting out an album, we expecting him to bring something that we've been waiting for literally forever. But he go this way with it. Lil John is doing like the exact same thing, but I mean, it's, cannot, you said something that was key though. Fan base. Facts. Whenever you doing music, you always trying to reach a different audience. I've already cat he, you know what I'm saying? You they 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 are hip hop icons. So they've gathered that. You know what I'm saying? That's why Lil John went to the techno situation. You know what I'm saying? Gather to gather a different audience. So 
when, like you said, when you hear Andre putting out an album, your expectation because of how you knew Andre is hip hop. Yeah, but Lil John was accepted into that genre of music because it's not off brand from what he was already doing. Now, just imagine if Lil John tried to drop a country album or some shit like that. Nobody's checking for that. Country people would check for that. Do you really think that? Why? What, you, what about what you, Lil John would make uh, the country fan base want to listen to it him? It all depends on how. If there's nothing he put out that made them want to listen to him before. They done heard turned down it's, for what? I'm, I'm just what I'm saying. That you, he has party music. If you, again, whatever it is, I give you that. When, when, I give you even that. Oh, they like country music. They done heard turned down. Yeah, for, for sure. Oh, uh, I want to say, uh, didn't he produce Wobble Baby? I don't Big know. girl, bag it sure. up. I don't know. It's Chuck, can you look that up? The yeah. producer of Wobble. But my at the end of the day, my whole thing is though you trying to reach a different fan base. Everything is not going to be hip hop and gangster and tear the club up type shit. So you're gonna put a song. It is the same thing. Dirk got a uh, he on one of the uh, his last projects within the last two three years. He got a song uh, on some country shit. I told you with Morgan Wallen. Mm -hmm. You Come put on, me on that. So so at the end of the day, and who listen? And, and what country motherfucker do you know listen to drill music? Nobody. But you got a drill motherfucker that then yeah took yeah. his yeah. talent. So now nah, you got, got now so heat. so now he you got, got some heat though. I'm not saying that he don't. No, no, I'm saying like he but, got he got some shit that would appeal to more than just country. Yeah, because I tell himself, him how I called himself, you about this song. Yeah. Tell him how I called you about he this called song. Me, he called me like, bro, you ever heard this song and sent it send it to me and shit. I'm like, oh yeah, that's the Morgan dude. And I heard it like he the one that's a bang. He's the like, one that told me argument, about him my, working with Lil Dirk. I didn't even know but, about but that. My argument is from on the Lil Dirk's per, on side. Yeah, fact. When you got a nigga from Chicago on some drill shit, and he's hitting, mm -hmm. sitting here, so now he now has country people tuning into Lil Dirt music. Yeah, Dirk, that Dirk. wouldn't have had never did that. If Listen this, to this um, though. If this collaboration would have never happened, Dirk did that shit on purpose. You want to know why? Because when Dirk dropped the album, the nigga went his his, his album with number two. You know who was number one? Yeah, Morgan. So and he it, like fuck it. I'm trying to link with him. Mm -hmm. So they linked, and Why then not? it's like real chemistry. Like, <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Let's make. Let's figure this out. We gonna bring your style to my style. You get a producer. Yeah, Collie Park. Collie Park, Park. Oh, I ain't even yeah, know that. That nigga. Oh, yeah, look at him. Him. He been low. Y'all have anything to do with that uh, project? Let me go Collie back. Park. Collie Park. When he been to, low. When you when you when you listen to it, it sounds like Lil Jon is on that. Project. I don't see yeah. nothing. And Hurricane Chris. Let's drink. I'm gonna keep Collie looking now. Hurricane Chris trying to make a comeback. Have you seen him just scrolling through your timeline on the show? I've been seeing. I've been seeing Hurricane Chris. Man, Ever since get Hurricane and Chris the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see who is coming out with a country album? Who? Beyonce. <laughs> She's there. You can go listen to the, one of the songs right now. Come on. You see, she was at the uh, probably, Grammys probably with that, that country, that cowgirl hat on. Well, did you see her commercial yesterday? It was part of the commercial. She was, it was talking about she was trying to break the internet again, and she was doing a bunch of stuff in the commercial, and one of the things she did, she says, I'm going to put out a country album. Have you heard the That's lead true. single? I want to hear yeah, it. Yeah, I, I checked it. Hell yeah, I checked it out. Why wouldn't I? See? Hey. And exactly. Prime, prime and Why prime wouldn't prime I? Prime. And look. Hey, I give it to you. It's a I fire it. country, country that, song. When it comes to that music, bro, one thing I, bro, I, I understand the, the whole dynamic. Come on, bro. Country's not a bad genre of music. It's oh. not. Just a lot of them make it boring as fuck. Exactly. It's depressing. Yeah. It's Some of it drawn is. out it is, and it's Some dry. Of it is. Some of that Hell. shit is the exact same shit we do. Yeah, it's just dry. Hey, it's just a different tone. We sing with some soul oh, and flavor, and they it's just, just a be, different tone. And they but some of them got it, though. Some of them got it. I ain't gonna lie, Reba. Y'all hip to Reba? She McIntyre? used to have a teeth. Boy, yeah, hard. Back in time. Hard. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to my, uh, to my country crush. She did uh, sing that yesterday, didn't she? Rexham. Uh, Did she sing that last night? Yeah, she was at the. Yeah. She sang the national anthem. I ain't even see none of that, y'all. You yeah, see what? Come just, on, yeah, baby. I'm just thinking it. I thought you knew. <laughs> you nah, good. You did that hey, on purpose. You good. Hey, but it, <laughs> you it, good. It ain't on me. It's in me. You hear me? You good. So you listen. Just, check this out. Which way this going? Need to, to bruh. Oh uh, yeah. Let me listen to this, y'all. I'm good. NWA receives the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. 
Mm -hmm. Ice Cube, MC Ren, DJ Yella, and Easy es family accepted the honor. Rolling Stone reports Dr. Dre was absent. Cube said Dre wanted to make sure to let you know that he's not hating. He's a billionaire. He got shit to do. <laughs> that part. Yeah. This shit way bigger than NWA. Way yeah. hey, bigger. Nah, but uh shout, shout out to out. NWA. They should have been, out. they should have been like when when it comes to awards and honoraries and shit like that, I feel like them type of guys, they should be first in line. You feel me? So shout out to I, to, to, to NWA, man. Individually and together. Yeah, yeah for sure. Man. For sure. Cause some of them did some great shit by themselves. Some of them, and they did some. Them. They did some miraculous shit together for M sure. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. So don't make me change you, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to him. <laughs> What's up with uh, Frankie Munez trying to be a uh, NASCAR driver? Man, he better have did something. That's like, uh, nah, you can't even compare him to Shia nah. LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf is is what above him in like life status yeah he well Fra frankie's been trying to get into nascar for a few years mm -hmm. and uh i get what the thing i sent in there he he got a deal uh to the second level of nascar so What's i didn't know if you guys watched malcolm as a kid. come on bro I are you crazy you with especially with all the shows we've are already you talked crazy about. agent yeah. cody banks what Come on, man, Frankie Muniz. I, 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 I is, what happened to bro? This is, he Drugs. wanted to be a driver, I guess. Nah, yeah, but he I'm, been I'm off the team. I'm not sure why he fell off for a while though. He, he wanted was, to be a driver. Out and it's just now for working while. out for him. Now he's middle aged, racing NASCAR. Look at dude. <laughs> just a hell of a transition. Yeah, this is deep. Apparently, he talks about how he don't really remember a lot of like shooting the show and stuff like that <coughs> got, drugs yeah either that or like trauma or something like you know, him and fucking stuff. him <laughs> you said what they, they was drugging him and fucking him Woo. <laughs> all right y'all ready for a little black excellence okay then talk to us <clears throat> the next time you use any navigation software like google maps mm -hmm. you can thank dr gladys west inventor of gps technology that's say that a black woman? Black woman, baby. Chuck put her up on the, on the screen. Yeah. That was uh, Arco that shared that. Shout out to Miss Gladys, boy. Yeah, man. Miss Gladys West. That's Salute fire. To the queen, man. Salute to the queen, man. Shout out to Miss Gladys, boy. Because I'd definitely be uh, using no maps. You hear me? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Get around. Like, I'm, I'm not what is it? I get around. On the everyday side. Did it? Yeah. Like on the everyday side, yeah, that's that's an everyday necessity. Remember when, like, if a motherfucker went on a trip or something, mm -hmm. and you had to print out the whole map, like the map quest, map quest, yeah, you had to print out song? the whole directions on map quest the yeah. whole way, yeah, and you had to make sure you ain't missed that turn because mm -hmm. there wasn't no such thing as rerouting. Yeah, respect. You literally got to pull over and look at the map after you get on the ramp that you you was looking for. Ain't no take your eyes off the road. No sir. You going to be fucked. You going to be fucked up. You missed that. Episode. I ain't going to lie. We wouldn't be shit with a map right now. We would not. A map. We who? wouldn't be shit. Or a compass, Look, nigga. He, here you go, Chuck. Him. Who? Who? I got six maps of every region. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't have no maps, but I know how to read them. We learned how to read them. It's, we're reading them every day. It's just on our phone. You don't think that you could apply that same thing to an actual map and find your way around? I ain't gonna lie, I could. Like, hey, you say it all the time. No matter what, you you get to it to get done what you got to get done, right? Oh yeah, for sure. So I you like needed Arco. to make it somewhere, and somebody gave you a map. I guarantee you made it there. Got it. Like Arco, you got to get through it to get to it. Get through it to get to it. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. All right, y'all ready to get to some more black excellence? Absolutely. Let's talk about two of our favorite people. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. What's her name? Ba Bobby Aldoff mm -hmm. and Sukiana. Oh. Let's get to some black. Listen to this interview between Sukiana and, and Bobby Aldoff, man. Before we do that, no. I got to okay. correct you. Go ahead. What do, what do you know? Suki what do, what with do the good you know? coochie. Hey, you're Neither a musician. Y'all know what this is. My <laughs> favorite people. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. You see, I said who? All right, I give you that. Me neither. I was just, you know, black excellence. What do you know? That you're a musician. 
So that's why I'm interviewing you today, so I can get to know you. So I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. What the fuck that mean? Make magic or something? What is musician? I think that's, I think you're confusing that. Yeah, I'm not no musician. I, I make music. I make I, music. I, um, and that's not all I do. I make music. I act. I'm a TV star too, a young mogul. Uh -huh. I, just really quick, I think you're confusing. I'm not confusing nothing because I, you, you don't know. I, you thought that all I was was a magician or whatever the fuck you said. See, that's what I think you think I said. No, I said musician, I think, not what, magician. I don't think, baby. But I don't think. What I, is that? That's ghetto. I don't think. Thanks. I know. So you, you think. I didn't say magician, Suki. I said musician. And I think you are a musician. No, baby. I do music. So you just really, just really quick. For the record, could you say you don't think you're a musician? I'm not none of that. But then after that, you just said, I do music. Yeah, I do music. So, in other yeah. words, you're a musician. No, I'm not. Okay. okay. Hold on, yeah. wait, no, hold on, wait, 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 I'm wait. Dead. Stop, stop. I got a question for you, Scrooge. I'm dead. I got a, I got a question for you. I'm dead. <laughs> Four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. Hey, 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 oh, hey, God. hey. Shh, 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 shh. Hold up. Four hundred. Four hundred. Mm, 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 mm. If Sukiana was from Dayton, Ohio. Oh Jesus. What area would she be from? Trotwood. Hell no. Hell no. Hold on, wait. Before we go any further, will you tell them the statistics that you told me about Trotwood and people? They uh, Oh, yeah. So I had a situation. <laughs> Just a quick uh, history. I had a situation or whatever. So I had uh, so a person's comprehension level was kind of fucked up, which is what they were saying didn't make sense. The actions didn't make sense. The shit just didn't make sense or whatever. They, and their whole education was in Trotwood. So I Google Trotwood's education system, like their t totality and all of that. And overall, they had a 70% efficiency in reading as a whole. That's a C. That's not like, I mean, that's like. So average after he brought this up to me right <laughs> no shit i know a couple people from troutwood and it just so happened they slow, kind of slow. that them motherfuckers is a little off <laughs> just slow. i need to see some um some high school yearbooks what floor you was on i need to know <laughs> and i and and, 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 and there's no shade but i'm not I ain't, but it's people. just it's some smart people i know more smart people than dumb people from troutwood no, see, this is the whole thing, though. See, I thought the people that I was interacting with was kind of smart, too. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's the whole thing. See, we see that's like, okay, you grow up with this one nigga, right? right. And you like, yeah, that's my nigga. He a gangster, he a killer. He gonna whoop a nigga's ass until you find out he ain't a gangster, he ain't a killer. He ain't gonna whoop a nigga's <laughs> ass. Dude, that sound like some trial shit. So when you so when you really start having conversation with people, and you hear their reactions or you hear their responses and shit like or that, or how they just process information, do, and it makes you say you be like, "Yeah, I know I be having the same face with people." Like you really, your brain really thought that. So the, so guess what? Guess what? I'm gonna tell you. This is this is how you. So you ask, just ask them. Hey, when you ever go to Trywood? <laughs> And the moment they say yeah, you go you gonna be like, it makes sense. Did you ever go to trouble with that? It makes sense. I had a, I asked a couple of people, for real. Like, I hear some shit. I'm like, I said, you ever go to trouble with? Oh yeah, I went for like two years. Two That's years. funny as fuck. <laughs> I said, right. I, I said, I said, oh yeah, that, that, make, that, that shit makes sense. <laughs> All right, we ain't about to lay too but deep on it. Yeah, that was just an inside oh, joke man. that we decided to bring on the camera. It's but over. yeah, man, we be saying trout with slow. No offense, y'all. Man, we it's fuck with y'all. In my opinion, though, before we switch subjects all the way in, I gotta pee. If Suki was from Dayton, Ohio, keep it one hundred. Where would she be from? Palisades. Northland, for Northland me. for sure. I about to say, no, he didn't she say the new school oh, term. Say. She, she, she had been them, uh, them baby mama flip flops. 
<laughs> you stupid. The, 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 what the bubbles look like the clouds. The, the, <laughs> the cloud sandals. The, the little styrofoam yeah. joints. <laughs> All right, so Clean. look, enough of the bullshit. Let's get back to another piece of black excellence. Okay, then let's talk. Let's talk. Let's Meet 11 year old Nicholas Buma, creator, mm. executive producer, and star of the family friendly sitcom Nick's House. Inspired to showcase intellectual children of color like himself, Nicholas teamed up with his mom, Dan. Hold on, wait. He teamed up with his mom, Danielle, to bring his vision to life. So, yeah, we got a, a 11 year old show producer. Period. Boy, ain't he whooping the brain's ass right now? Period. You know who that remind me of though? Who? What's the young lady's name? Um um that we spoke on. The No, not the not the not the third grade teacher. Okay. The uh the little girl that um that was on what's the TV show with uh uh Anthony Anderson and uh Blackish. Oh yeah Blackish. Um, uh shit. Uh uh Can't think of her. I know her name too, cause you know Peso, the yeah, videographer, know, yeah, he, you know he, they he, they, he they they tapped in with each other. They got like a brother sister relationship, and we bring her up every time we on the show. Damn, what is Queen. her name? That is so disrespectful. Can we look her name up, please? Yeah, because I don't want to be disrespectful. But she man. was she was like thirteen, fourteen, and then they ended up she ended up co producing that one movie. She with, got uh, movies out now. With Regina Hall. Yeah, she got a movie out with Morris Chestnut, a football movie that she done produced. She it was, she off it was the called chain. Fantasy Football, yeah. I think, or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, that shit was off the chain though. We trying to remember the young lady's name from um, Blackish that Peso worked with on the movies and stuff. He looking her name up for us, though. Wired. Um, but we were talking about 11-year-old, uh, meet 11-year-old Nicholas Buma, creator, executive produ- producer, and star of the family-friendly sitcom Nick's House. Mm-hmm. Inspired to showcase intellectual children of color like himself, Nicholas teamed up with his mom, Danielle, to bring his vision to life. 11 year old produced, wrote, directed a TV show. That's major. Sitcom. That's major. And remember, we was talking about sitcoms and how we like got a void of them. Like, well, we really ain't got a void of them. They just don't get highlighted like they used to. Yeah, like, so I was about to say that. sitcoms used to be primetime television. Yep. Niggas used to have a every night. Yeah. What we watching? Uh, what, uh Channel 2? Or T, what was TGI, TGIF Friday? You know, TGIF? TGIF, that was, I want to say that. Wasn't that ABC? ABC, is that Channel 2? That was ABC? Yeah. yeah on, on, what was that? Friday night, boy, they had the evenings on lock. On everything. That's where Family Matters and oh, all that shit came up. Oh, yeah, like you you was too. And then Saturday morning, well, they Brothers. had your, them and Fox and WB, uh, WB had your mornings on lock. I on knew, everything. I had to pick and choose what I was going to watch at certain times. Like, I, I ain't missing Freakazoid. I'm going to see, I'm going to the WB. I got to catch Freakazoid. Yeah. But nah, right. fuck Every that. Power Rangers about to come on Freakazoid. after that. Yeah. Oh act like they don't know what that is. What was that? Wait, well, that was the fuck going Good on network, around here, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck going on? Like it's a bitch behind the no, couch. I ain't signed up for this shit. <laughs> Who's sneaking bitches in the house? Oh, uh, shit. That, that's old girl's name though. But, Marseille um, Martin. Marseille. <laughs> Marseille, I think. That's what it that was I didn't know how to say it. So I was trying to figure out how to say it. Oh, okay, yeah. I believe TV. Marseille. But yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, just like well, her. Yeah. For real, baby geniuses for real. Yeah, and and it's so crazy because the they didn't remember that movie. Day what? and age. And this day and age, all our kids, bro. It's like if, you, if we think they, they, they advancing the muscle, so when they had eight kids, they gonna be supersede the level that they was at when. Let so me tell you, just, <clears throat> and they coming in at two, knowing how to operate a, a fucking oh. iPad. Outside, of, imagine I think, if we had that when we was their age, though. I really think Yago is the only person that's outside of my house that really know how smart King is, bro. He be like around and he hear the conversations and the shit that this, bruh. I can believe it, bro. Dude is like. I can believe it, bro. Trying to tell you, dude, he different. He a different breed, no cap. That's my dog. You ain't got to <laughs> Listen, I, I, cause. You know, you know. We like, us, us growing up, we knew some smart motherfuckers. You feel me? Cough count finna go crazy. 
I am one of them. I ain't gonna lie. I was one of them in school. Respectfully. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was too. I like math. I used to like all I that shit I just on the I, I just didn't like doing I didn't like doing homework. Parent teacher conference, my mama come in sixth grade and shit. My uh my sixth grade teacher was my uh was our wrestling coach. You know what I'm saying? I was going to I went to West Carrollton Middle School, sixth grade year. Uh so go pirates. Uh you still on that? Nah. Um <laughs> anyway, uh <laughs> Yeah. So uh anyway, uh so like <coughs> teacher parent conference, they come in. O'Shea like he, he loves to he loves it. Uh he's a privilege to have in class. We just can't get him to do his homework. Ain't that a bitch? We do what we do we uh, we do pop up, we do pop quizzes and pass out tests. He he aces those. Homework. But the pep, yeah, that homework. homework but that homework, home. boy, you even, you don't turn that homework and that that, that homework bag. never even made it home. Never made That's it. That's how I was. I had a double bag. I had a duffel bag book bag, nigga. This just had all type of dittos and paperwork. Just undone work, <laughs> just flooded in it, you ever, crumpled up and shit. You ever have a teacher tell you that you're your you are your own worst enemy? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Wait. The, every teacher. I think that's like in their guidebook. Like, yeah. <laughs> whenever you got a smart student, when you got a bright student in your class that just don't want to do shit, say this. Mm-hmm. Insert phrase here. Yeah. <coughs> oh, bro. <laughs> yeah, you gonna hurt your. Bro, you doing this on purpose to me, man? <laughs> we got up to like six, 16 on that last episode. For real? Yeah. yeah. Damn. Damn, I don't never even keep track of it. I know. It's Fox. Sometimes I just look up and be like, oh, damn. It's definitely the highest one on that last episode. Hey, the, y'all, far as 16. <coughs> let me ask y'all something. Y'all ready to ride for our uncle? Are uncle. y'all ready to ride for y'all uncle? Uncle who? Nigga, it don't matter if it's your uncle, nigga, is you riding or not. Nah, no, it do matter. It's yeah, Snoop Dogg, nigga. Oh, yeah, I'm right, I'm, I'm right it's Snoop Dogg, nigga. I'm rolling with uncle. You ready to ride with unk? I'm rolling with unk. Nah, I need to hear it, Chuck. Yes, sir. All right, bet. So listen, He's Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg sues Walmart for sabotaging cereal brand by hiding it in storage rooms. Diabolical <sighs> actions. Oh, wait. And I heard his shit really be moving in Walmart. Pay the black. Yeah, it you, says, pay hold on, let me hit this because I ain't going to waste it. By well, while, while you're hitting that, I want to say that right after I saw now. this the other day in the group, I went to Walmart. They had his on? clothes on clearance. I was like, man. <laughs> they tried to get him up out of there. That's fucked so, up. I'm on Snoop Dogg's side on this one for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Free to uh, man. pay the unk, man. Talk for me. Say <laughs> Man, you know I'm with Uncle Snoop. <coughs> you hear me? And Walmart got us fucked up. You hear me? I ain't gonna lie. You killing a nigga? Walmart trying got to us rob fucked the up. Nigga? You feel me? We ain't trying to. Why are you trying to hide my nigga shit? Oh, like, shit. like we don't want it. Killing a nigga and right. robbing a nigga. Oh. Hey, you dirty. <clears throat> it says Snoop Dogg is taking on Walmart after he claims the grocery giant. Tried to choke out his cereal by brand hiding it. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me run that back. He done fucked me up. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, Snoop Dogg is taking on Walmart after he claims the grocery giant tried to choke out his cereal brand by hiding it in storage rooms. Mm. The rapper, whose legal name is Calvin Brodus, and his Brodus Foods co-founder, Percy Master P. Miller, filed a lawsuit Tuesday against Walmart and Post Foods, claiming the companies sabotaged them. The rappers alleged their cereal brand, Snoop Cereal, was intentionally kept in the stock rooms of all of of Walmart stores marked with no location coding, preventing them from being placed on the store shelves. A statement from their lawyer, Ben Crump, who represented Tyree Nicholas family last year. I don't even know who that is. Um, all right, I'm not going to read out. Hey, oh, oh, just, just a, real quick, real yeah. quick. Uh, Mr. Crump is also the lawyer that was re- that represented um, uh, Trayvon, uh, not Trayvon, but uh, uh, Floyd. Uh, George Floyd. George Floyd, and he also represented uh, uh, Amir Aubrey. Uh, that uh, they got killed in Georgia. Uh, the white dude and his dad and his uh, neighbor or whatever they the dude the black man that was jogging in the, in the neighborhood in down in Georgia. Yeah, yeah. He's the uh, he's the attorney that represented them. Hey man, I ain't gonna lie. 
So this cool. hey, hey, this nigga trying to hey. I want a billion dollars for my nigga Uncle Snoop. Pay that Uncle man, Percy. Pay that man. Pay that man. I ain't gonna lie. You got a bright, fu- uh, you got a bright, bright future ahead of you, kid. Thank hey. you. Sir. You got a bright future ahead Thank of you, so, kid. Hey. Uh huh. Young man got knowledge. Hey, uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, I can believe they doing that to Snoop. <coughs> I can believe they doing that to Snoop. <coughs> it hit different because our whoops aside, <coughs> you know it's probably hard. That's probably a, 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 a inside driven industry anyway. Like the same people that make frosted flakes. Yeah. Is nine times out of ten the same motherfuckers that make frosted uh frosted bears. Yeah. Respect. You feel me? Or corn flakes. You see like Exactly. Yeah, like it's all, all so they trying to control all but, that. But, but it's Kellogg's. Facts. You know what this shit is? Universal <laughs> music group. All these different fucking names, but all this shit at the end of the day, it all under still falls bro. under one big goddamn conglomerate <coughs> umbrella. Yes, one umbrella. Universal Music Group. That's how this shit is for real. So just imagine a nigga Snoop Dogg is basically like Koch Records, like an independent trying to come in. You feel me? Yeah, yo. Yep. Facts. Facts. Big Death Row. Big facts. Yeah, like on the independent side, trying to make his way in. Nigga. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and it would it would be very easy because Walmart got- employees are they're not paid the greatest, so they're gonna do what they told. And not only that, if you leave a number off of something, they are gonna leave it where it's shit, at. This shit's staying right here until somebody. You puts can't even off. look it up. Yeah. You can't even search it to see if it's back there to grab. Well, I mean, well, when they're stocking it, they might not put a location to stock it. So yeah, but what I'm saying... I, I'm done with this whole palette already. You, as a customer, <laughs> if you come in and you ask yeah. me, like, I'm looking for Snoop cereal. Do you have any in the back? Yeah. And I pick up my little scanner thingy and I type it in. If there's no code for to pop up with it, it's not going to pop up. So even if... I I get honestly not know that it's back there. You know what I mean? Facts. That's just because... The higher up. If I work somewhere, just like if you work somewhere, if I look it up on here and it say it's not back there, I'm not personally about to waste my there. time to go back there to look for it. And even uh, if it's back uh, there and it's still in that big ass palette wrapped up, I don't know if what's I, going on with If it. I scan it and there's nothing to come up for it, I can't sell it to you. A billion dollars for my uncles. Boy, they are playing crackhead games. Pay them uh, ass. What do you say? Go ahead, grab the pipe, grab the rock. It's time to play full <laughs> blown crackhead game. Yeah, we about that's to smoke they ass. <laughs> no cat. Like that's fucked up for real. They got a big, big phone. You, out of all the industries that that we know about gatekeeping, who would have ever thought they would be cereal <laughs> gate breakfast food gatekeeping? <laughs> Gang banging on bacon, nigga. <laughs> and then, but the whole thing is, you gonna have to explain how this is, how this even came about. Hell, nah, Why you know, is this? You know what I'm saying? And when you know you what that means. When you can't do that, they go out. loops under these fruit loops, nigga, <laughs> and getting down. Hey, you know what that means? You think you still gonna get away with it? Nah. If hey. they, if they, if they breakfast, if they, if they beefing like this over breakfast, that mean they wake up on bullshit. Yeah, respectfully. <laughs> Let's start. <laughs> what you, that, know, you know what? Fuck Snoop shit today. I, you know what? I just. I saw the shipment come in last night. And I just it was just on my mind when I woke up this morning. Fuck the shit. So we're not putting it out. Call everybody. Nah, not even you that. Know what fucking Walmart. Nigga, the, the motherfucker that really owned, what is it called? Post? Yeah. The motherfucker that really owned post called you like, hey. You'll I take every box of cereal in that motherfucker out and take it to save a lot. I you better not put that Snoop Dogg cereal out there. Some of that. Hey, should be real, man. Shit like that. Should be real, man. Shit like that. Trust me, as long as this is a shelf, a motherfucker gonna come find these frosted flakes, motherfucker. I don't need you. No, respectfully. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I put the motherfucking Snoop Loops up. <laughs> <laughs> Snoop Loops. Say that. <laughs> you better not put the motherfucker. Look at this nigga. Snoop Loops. Look, look at this nigga running around trying to sell these whoops. This. Nigga, you wanna be like him? Yeah, for sure. 
<coughs> beat up box. Snoop. <coughs> hey, quit playing Snoop. Yeah, rolling Snoops. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's a lot of black excellence going on in this topic. Bro. My nigga Snoop about to cook their ass though. Like my boy Webby like to call her Angela Galee bought a thirty unit apartment building for formerly incarcerated women. Period. I wonder what that entails exactly though. Like when you get out of jail, you can come stay here for free until you get your shit together. It might be a sober. It might be like a sober living housing. A lot of people have those. Uh, yeah. Type of situations to where it keep them like drug free, <clears throat> uh-huh. um, it puts them up for like maybe like a year, year and a half, or six months. So it, it provides you a place to stay, to where uh, you'll be able to go and work or go to school, whatever the case may be. If you're working, you can stack your mm-hmm. j- stack your money. You ain't gotta pay no rent, mm-hmm. nothing like that. But if you are if you violate any of the rules. And the regulations and shit, you know what I'm saying, of you staying here, then they'll put you out. <coughs> and a lot of those Ooh, places out like that. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Because <coughs> they're, they have a zero tolerance for drugs. Right. And if that's the case, they get spurred a moment. Come here, piss test. And if you test dirty, oh, yeah, pack your shit. You got to get up right yeah, now. Yeah, it's, it's money involved in that, though. Yeah, but that would be, 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 why? Because it's funded through the government. So I was about to say real government bread. It's government man. bread, for sure. Sober living home. Angelina ain't slick. Yeah, that's how that's that's all that shit is, but that's government money. She ain't man. doing nothing but getting paid off a of halfway house. Clearly. Let's so it's a get it's into a, that. It's a thirty unit building with ten units set aside for formerly incarcerated women. Hold on, say so that say that again slower. How say the numbers it's again? It's a slower. thirty unit building. Right. And she set aside ten of the units for formerly incarcerated women. Oh yeah, that's that's. So that's she's still making oh, so her ten money. of them. <coughs> so and yeah, that's she's providing that for free. It's actually a smart idea. Absolutely. That's she's, but so, so she'll probably still a, make a little bit. It's, what? It's, 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 imagine I'll, the tax like, right off of that. Yeah, it's not for free. I'll, I'm, yeah, I didn't. Not I only didn't that, mean it like I just meant not, that she's covering not, the cost. Now, nah, but but listen though, not only that, if she owns the building and she's letting ten people live free and it's a thirty unit building. All that rent from them units is getting spread it out against them other units. So but, now I'm just wondering exactly where the location is. Because if it's somewhere like in Manhattan, Detroit, you know, they can, ah, okay. Mid, Midtown, Detroit, where it's cheap at, where, where property cheap at. <laughs> so right now. Hey, hey she on to something. I mean, but right off or not, that's still commendable to give people that opportunity yeah, to be able to live sure. for free. I ain't knocking it. A lot of more I celebrities should it. actually do that. So, you I know what I mean? I ain't knocking it. I ain't knocking it. Help me, help you, help me, help you. But that's just the backside of it. You know yeah, like the reality of it. When you, any anything that has to do with uh, inmates, prisons, uh, 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 women's uh, reformatories and shit like that, or whatever you know, what I'm saying this government mm-hmm. assisted. Yeah, and they're gonna for and they're sure. gonna fund you to motherfucking run these, and then pr- every for every person that's a part of this program or whatever the case may be, is gonna be a is gonna be a dollar tag to that person. Just like jail. Going, yeah. yeah. Just another check when you get another Y'all person. Good. Just like jail, baby. Like jail. Y'all good. I don't know. We we had them come whenever you ready. Let's <laughs> <laughs> whenever Simply you're ready. Simply complicated on the way, it's God On the way. All right, so check this. <clears throat> <clears throat> Carl actor Carl Weathers, also known as Apollo Creed from the movie Rocky. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Has passed away at the age of seventy six years old. Mm. Then I tell you how old Rock uh, 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 Sylvester Stallone is. Yeah. Damn. Rest in peace, Apollo Creed. Yeah, on everything, man. Again, he, uh, he died in his sleep. Oh, that's what's up. That's and how I want to go. He went out. My favorite thing about hearing people <coughs> like, uh, talk about him and reminisce about him since he passed away is that mm-hmm. everybody's like, it's they they expect a big explosion to take him out or so. You know what I mean? Like it, that's Carl Weathers. Like he. Like he just went in his sleep, but like we always say, that's the that's where you want to go. That's how you want to go, man. Peaceful, man. Yeah, we for just sure. we Peaceful build him up so much, man. we expect it to take so much more than that to take him out. Yeah. yeah. So listen, I just heard you say that that's how you. Oh shit, sorry y'all. Woo. You said that's how you want to go. Yes, sir. In your sleep, have y'all ever thought about that? Like when you go, 
what state do you want to be in? Yeah, that's well, I always uh, it, I don't I've suffered in this life already. Mm-hmm. So I fought my way through. I don't want to have to fight my way out. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like drowning, you're suffering because you feel you're gonna you you feel the life sucking out of you like you can't breathe. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you <clears throat> fire. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like you are a <laughs> so sleep. that's a suffer. So if I'm sleep. I don't even realize. I don't even know. Yeah, for sure. What about you, Chuck? Um, uh, I don't know. I'd like to think that I'd want to be aware, mm-hmm. but I can't guarantee that. It, like, I'm not gonna be suffering or something like that. So maybe, you know, being asleep. But I just realized, what if you're having like a dream, and then it kicks into like you're passing away, and you have like the craziest nightmare, and you'd almost rather be awake. <laughs> yeah, no, that's some deep <laughs> shit to think about. Yeah, what about you, bro? <clears throat> I ain't never thought about it. I really don't like thinking about it. Got you. You feel me? I just hope that when it do happen, everybody around me ready. <laughs> now, this might be fucked up for the, the, the other individual involved. But when I go, I want to go in some pussy. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> nah, that was our final classic. statement, nah, baby. That was our final nine. statement. Classic, classic nine. How'd he die? On top of me. <laughs> On top? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Color that's what purple. Now, that's what they need to say about me when it's all said and done. How how did he go? And I want a motherfucker to say, On top. You hear me? Yeah, period. What you got coming up, uh, brother? What's what's going on for the week? You got anything set up? Man, night, man. I'm trying to uh I think uh I told myself I was gonna go and get a membership at the Y. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm about to get really back on my workout shit, man. Uh you know, meditation and things in that nature, man, center itself, you know, uh, it's easy to get lost and caught up in everyday life and shit like that. So I got to center self, man, and try and slow some things down, man. Yeah, for sure. I respect that. You, before you had to go do that little seven month, you was extremely focused and dedicated. I'm like you went through like a month fast where you wouldn't eat no meat. You was like really oh some other shit. You know what I mean? Respectful. That was a different type of focus. Uh, <clears throat> I ain't got really sh- shit going on. Same shit that working on these shows, waiting to pot, and trying to figure some shit out. Um, I got a couple TV shows I want to I want to look into. Um, I don't know if y'all know. I don't know if you fucked with the Airbender. Do you fuck with the Airbender growing up? Mm, I really. fucked with the Airbender. Did you fuck with the Airbender, Chuck? I never watched it. For real, I fucked with that shit. But they got a live show coming on. You know, that was like an American anime style show. Sure. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, like I'm hip to it, but I'm I- looking more forward to seeing that than how y'all was about One Piece, the live action. Who was mm-hmm. y'all? Oh, I'm sorry, Diarco. I, I apologize, big dog. I don't want no smoke. I mean, uh, <laughs> I ain't got into that. Yeah, I'm still it. trying to finish Naruto. So I ain't never. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like that's just a loss. Ain't no point for me. I get it. You know, I just, I don't know why I'll I just live vicariously through y'all. You know, because once you start, you feel like you gotta follow through. I ain't mm-hmm. on that. But you yeah, ain't got shit going on outside of that. What about you, brother? Same old, same old, same old. My nigga say, working in the crib, working in the crib. Pretty Arco. No, just <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? I wonder. Nah, just, he said, "Free nah, Arco." That's funny as fuck. I ain't got, bro. Uh, you know me, man. One day at a time. Let's let's call, bro. You that damn near called off sick. Crumble make a nigga stumble. Crumble make a nigga rump. What's up with it? Black no. Jesus, you are on the phone with the Pie Squad, man. We got Black Jesus Arco on the phone, man. Round of applause for the big homie, man. Oh, bless man. You. 
God bless y'all, man. God bless y'all. Yeah, man. God bless my brother, man. What's up, what you got What's going up on, brother? Game? Shit, man. About man. to wrap up pie for real. What you got going on? Man, got my foot kicked up. You know. <laughs> about the uh about the uh catch me another episode of all the Queens men. Yeah, <laughs> period, bro. That shit hard yeah, like that. Know, man, I'm trying to tell you, man. man you ain't gonna lie, bro. Tell me one to tune in, bro. That I shit might have to check it out tonight. It, it's a dope joint right there, man. I ain't. Jago, I watch it. Jago said, "Run that title all, back for him one more time." All the queens, man. Yeah, all the queens, man. Okay. All right. Madam, yeah, don't it's be a uh, Tyler Perry production. Madam, don't be playing. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Listen, Pi wouldn't, Pi wouldn't have been right if you ain't get on here and kick some some TV show movie shit, man. <laughs> you know what man, I mean? Man, I, I definitely had one for you. Yeah, for sure. Uh, was how, so how was Pi, man? I ain't gonna lie, Pi was fire. If you ask me, yeah. If you ask me, but that's only if you ask me. I felt good about this Pi, which I, I can't speak for everybody. Definitely jumping off the trampoline. You hear me? That's what they do. Yeah, we sky zone this motherfucker. Well, my nigga. I'm uh, saying that. Dave Chappelle say, I wish I had two more thumbs so I could put up two, <laughs> two, two thumbs up, four thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit was fire, man. We had it flowed flowed pretty pretty well today, man. Mm-hmm. That's what I like to hear, man. Mm-hmm. Crumble make a nigga stumble. Y'all don't want to do another one this week, do y'all? Mm-mm. Shit, why not? I'm up. I'm game, nigga. I ain't got nothing else to do. Huh? This is the most nah. positive shit I be doing. I say, oh, man. Round of applause for us, man. Look positive. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is the most positive shit I do. I try to play with you. <laughs> nigga said, we the best thing since PBS kids, goddammit. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh, what you think about the Super Bowl while we got you on the phone before we get up out of here? Man, I, I told him Pat Mahomes ain't to be fucked with, you know. <laughs> I told him, bro. I, I already told him what, what was going to happen. You say AFC it. play the best football, man, you know. We definitely do. What'd you say? That wasn't a prediction. Definitely that was a spoiler. Do. Yeah, you know. Yeah, for sure. He said, I see the future. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but... Uh, Wait. We really ain't got too much shit going on. We trying to figure out if we're going to do an extra pod or not. Chuck ain't said absolutely nothing. Yago said he ain't coming. Uh, Scrooge, he trying to solidify. I think he trying to get an actual spot on the pod. He said he with whatever, so bro might be back. You know. Man. Oh, yeah. What you, what, you, are you able to pod sometime this week? Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was hoping later this week anyway, you know. Was but. later. Wednesday. Yeah, you know, something like how we usually do. Hump day. Back Wednesday. Hump day. Oh, no, look at Chuck. He ain't said nothing. He ain't speaking into the microphone. What? What? Oh, uh, yeah, what am I say? We definitely going to have to it's whatever. get, I'll, get I'll to have a round table meeting, man. Hold on, wait. What'd you say, Chuck? I said, it's whatever. We can do another one. Oh, yeah, see? Everybody in, in for it, like, uh, except Yago, man. Man, we swear. Uh, we on. You know, <laughs> hey, go, oh, Yago. Listen, though, right? You know, sometimes a motherfucker get outvoted. I'm still going to be here, right? Oh, yeah, all right, say that. <laughs> okay, say, that. say that. I'm still going to be <laughs> here, right? <laughs> yeah, that's, say less. Say that. Dude. Well, you ain't never left. Yeah. All right, man. We ain't really want shit. We was just calling to tap in with you. Uh, I was gonna ask you what you had going on this week, but obviously it's the number one podcast in Ohio. You hear me? You know, you know. Mm-hmm. All right, bro. This but, nigga is scared of this weed. He ain't lit it up in thirteen oh, shit, minutes. My bad. This shit Been dangerous. This that. nigga. Hey, be safe <laughs> too, though, brother. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy the rest of your evening and shit, man. Man, you know I'm, I'm just got to lay it down now for real, too, though. Got to got to take care of this foot, man. Yeah, respect. This thing got the tripping on me. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Whatever going on, man. Take care of yourself, man. Self care is is very important, brother. Mm-hmm. Real talk. Yeah, man. All right, brother. We are gonna tap in with you later. All right, bro. All right, for All right, sure. In a minute, boy. y'all be easy, man. Yes, sir. Well, you know what? Black Jesus, goddamn it, Black Jesus. Yeah. Chuck, what you got going on, man? Uh, editing one, maybe two pods. 
Yeah, working. You see what he did there? Said that's it. That's all I got time for. That's it, man. Great pie to everybody. Period. You know what I mean? I, you know, I appreciate you. And um, I'm, I'm going to leave the people with this. Everybody has an opinion. Every has Everybody has an asshole. And everybody has a podcast. Just, Just not, not this podcast. podcast. This was Everybody Has One, man. And we about to leave out with Candy Bars featuring Kingpin, R-A-T. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But he gon' say I did uh-uh. But if I let him fuck, I never say I did never. No face, no case, no witnesses Long story short, mind your business, bitch I ain't fucked on a hoe, but she gon' say I did say If I, did. I fucked on a bitch, I never say I did No, no face, no case, no witnesses. no witnesses I'm just tryna keep it real, mind your business, bitch <laughs> He say he hit it, but I don't recall, I don't recall. Shorty was low, but he said we done it all, we done it all. Huh. If I let him fuck, you know he bought them all bought them And all. if I couldn't pick a color, then he bought them all He bought them huh. all Say he hit it, but I don't remember. I don't but remember. if I did, and he told, he is through a little. Right. I bet he only ate the edges, never touched the middle. Never. I bet he know he number two, just like a fucking pencil. Uh, huh. He say he hit it, but it wasn't me. It wasn't but me. if I did let him hit it, then it wasn't free. Hell I right. probably let him get the box, but he ain't got the key. I bet he bust down the brick and send the bread to me. Yeah, I, bet. I ain't let him fuck, but he gon' say I did. Uh-uh. But if I let him fuck, I never say I did. Never. No never. face, no case, no witnesses. Long story short, mind your business, mind bitch. Your business, I ain't fucked on the hoe, but she gon' say I did. If I fucked on a bitch, I never say I did never. No face, no case, no witnesses. witnesses I'm just tryna keep it real, man, your business, bitch I hate fucking with them bitches, love telling who they fucking Damn. With that dope dick gone, got her posting like I'm cut. I need a bitch, when she see me out in public, don't say nothing Sending pictures all day, keep texting that she loves me I don't kiss and tell nothing about a bitch, I ain't a snitch I got a bitch, she got a nigga, we ain't tripping about shit Her nigga paid for the fight, he think she on a girl's trip Bust her down for three days, I ain't buy the bitch shit I fell in love with the head, she fell in love with this dick I can't fall in love with you, I'm in love with my bitch. I fell in love with my blender, he keep getting a nigga rich. Seen a bitch that I forgot about, she telling me I hit. I ain't let him fuck, but he gon' say I did. Uh-uh. But if I let him fuck, I never say I did. Never. No face, no case, no witnesses. Long story short, mind your business, bitch. Your business, bitch. I ain't fucked a hoe, but he gon' say I did. Uh-uh. And if they ask me, I'ma say he lying on his dick. See so you a rat nigga running around telling shit. Rats. If I ain't nothing, then don't count, so it's irrelevant. <laughs> See you in a minute, boy. Busted. Shout out to Kiera Wine. One time for the queen. You already know. Make some noise for your boy. It's cut different, baby. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>